Howdy, good day. John here. I wanted to take time in this video to walk you guys through what it actually means when we talk about panelizing cold form steel and no longer using lumber, but using steel as a construction method. So this rendering you see here is an actual floor plan and a house design that we're building here in central Ohio. And realistically, we wanted to use our innovative cold form steel method. So let's take a look at the process of converting a traditional stick build into cold form steel. So we start here with the building floor plan. This floor plan is the actual layout of how the house will be built with all the rooms, openings, etc. These floor plans are fed into our design software, which will then allow us to convert the framing from the lumber to the steel. With each house design, we produce an engineering report. And that engineering report is going to account for things like the structural engineering, the lateral forces, the seismic activity, the wind speeds, etc. These, this home particular is designed for Ohio, and I'll just scroll through this report a little bit to give you an idea of what you're going to be seeing. But each home would have a custom report for each home plan. And as you see here, it's just a detailed report, which would then also lead us into the wall designs and the selection for the actual building material. And from this, it'll also help us generate the files in which we'll be able to panelize the home. And that comes from creating a 3D model of the building and of the structure. This is that actual same home plan. This is the skeleton actually made out of the cold form steel, as you can see here. And if I even take it a step further, let's see if I can zoom. A little difficult to do, other way. You'll see these little red kind of lines coming out. Those are actually the anchor bolts that'll be anchoring and um, tying into the foundation. So everything in this model is pre-designed and we know where all the layouts are gonna be and wherever all the fasteners are gonna be. So that model will help us produce these panel drawings. Within these drawings, we know how to design each panel. We know the exact material involved in producing the panel. We know the weight of the panel, and we know the number of fasteners to assemble the panel. Each panel is labeled sort of like a kit of parts, so it's very easy to take the plan view and when you're on site, assemble each of these wall panels to make the actual wall structure. So what I like about this is I'm no longer having to rely on simply the skilled framing labor to have to understand how to build and assemble the walls. It makes us more design-led, where we know up front what the design should look like, how the panel should be created. The panel can be fabricated off-site and then delivered to the site. And it doesn't have to have all the waste and um, basically skilled labor on the job to assemble this. I'm not saying we're removing all skilled labor, but it minimizes the need for the abundance of it. And it's the same here for your truss drawings. Once again, you know all the fastener points. You know what the exact panel will look like. So once again, we went from a plan view to a 3D model. We have a detailed analysis and report for every property. And this is what allows us to be a lot more efficient in terms of building and constructing a, a house. So I hope this was helpful. I know that a lot of times I just talk about steel and, and how it is and why it's so great, but I don't think I do a good job of really showing the exact method of why this is an innovative method. Hopefully this sheds some light on the process and answers some questions. Feel free to comment on this video or let me know more about what you would like to know or what you'd like to better understand. Thanks for watching.